Okay, so this is the old SR S3 field piece wireless scale. This is supposed to be the new and improved SR47 field piece scale. So um, the only reason I ended up getting this is because this one, for some reason, I'll show you guys what it's doing. Watch it not do it now. But what ends up happening is there will be dots. Do 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 and it'll just go around in circles. And it won't transmit. And you can't see it on the app. I don't know why it started doing it. It just happened out of nowhere. Um, I was on a roof one day, pulled out uh, like 107 pounds of R410A. Worked just fine. Next day, went to do another compressor. That was in a, this first time was a Mitsubishi VRF system. Went to a Daikin to do a compressor in that one and pulled out roughly another 120 pounds and within the first five pounds it quit linking up to the scale so field pieces asked me to send them this scale so they can repair or send me back a new scale because it's been within a year of purchasing this one so anyways um, I've been able to get roughly 30 40 feet away with the hand remote from the scale. So like a one story building, I just set it on the edge of the one story building and I could still read how much refrigerant was in my tank at the ground level because I couldn't get it up through the roof hatch. So yeah, this is the SRS3. So as you guys can see, the remotes are significantly different it's about a th this is about two-thirds the size as the old remote as you can see the buttons are no longer the same we now have tear instead of sync power still in the same location units and zero looks like um, which I don't understand because zero was our tear. So I literally just took this out of the box. So I haven't got to play with it yet. Um, we'll go ahead and turn this one on. Turned on the scale. And there we go. So you can kind of see we've got the handheld the scale uh, they both come with batteries both of them use a 9 volt battery in the remote um, this one has the magnet on the top like that which makes it pretty nice I like that because there's some <laughs> there's sometimes where I got it hanging on Unistrut like that to be able to see it so that makes that pretty nice this remote it's on the back and it flops up so I mean that'll make it nice to be able to hit it like that and you can still hit it like this it's a little magnetic that way but not as much but one of my biggest pet peeves with this scale was where the button's at so with like your stereotypical recovery tank this thing was sometimes hard to see and see if power was still on and see if the one hour hadn't elapsed where i have to turn it back on or not um on this new scale as you can see it's inlaid right so you got like the thickness of the scale before you hit the power button which is super cool um I do like how this is 
you got an edge and it kind of concaves, which kind of holds the bottle in this area. I like that feature more than I like this weird square X. Um, like I said, I haven't used this yet, so this is just purely my observation straight out of the box. They both come with the same bag. I mean, it's identical to the class and everything. They haven't changed the bag at all for the scale. Um, so that's the difference in the top. They're literally the same size. There isn't a lot that, you know, footprint wise is going to be different. Um, let's go ahead and turn these off so we can flip them over because I'm weird and OCD about that. Okay, yeah, see, that's what it would do. Like I'd turn the scale off and it wouldn't read. And the scale is off right now, but at the time the scale was on and the remote was on. So, and I couldn't even pull it up in the app. It wouldn't see it in the app or anything. And that's going to get annoying when you pick it up. The little flop doesn't come all the way down. I don't know about that. So, anyways. Uh, side height. This one is actually going to be thinner than the older one. Than the SRS3. That has got a little more girth to her. Um, oh, fingers. So let's go ahead and flip it over. They both still do take the same six AAA batteries in the bottom. Bottom on this is black. Um, so we'll go ahead and rotate this. This was literally just flipped over like that. This was flipped over and rotated 90 in order for the wands to be in the same location. This does have this really nice little grabber, but I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to get memorized with that. They both have the same Velcro lap clasp or latching system. They both take similar four screws to hold on the weather plate. This one does have a little finger grip as well as this one. This one's a lot more pronounced into the back of the scale than this one is. This one's just like, see that? This is, so it's just a little bit deeper of a groove. On the back of this is a piece of like foam tape and it makes it kind of difficult to get this on. Uh, they both have the O-ring weatherproofing around the battery compartment as well as the battery compartment on your remotes is a weather strip. This has a rubber bump guard around the outside, I assume for grip. This one does not, but it's kind of shaped kind of to be in your hand. While this is just not, right? Like there's a little bit of it but I don't notice it in my skinny alien hands. I mean, you can see it's there, but I don't notice it. Um, this one has these little tiny edge pads. This one has a bigger footprint. So you got this huge pad that you're gonna be sitting on now instead of these little tiny pads. Um, yeah, so that's the difference. I think they both do about the same 250 pound weight limit. Um, they, yeah, 114 kilos, 114 kilos. So that still is exactly the same scale, right? The only difference you're getting is they're changing the wand on us. They're putting a little groove in here. But I think the biggest perk is the on and off switch being right here. And supposedly this can be up to a thousand feet away from your phone or tablet or whatever you're using on the job link app. Uh, I haven't tried a thousand feet with this. It doesn't say it can do a thousand feet. So 
so there it is in that. But yeah, your grips are opposite of here. But see how I flip that directly over? And it's kind of offset. And that's another thing I don't like is when this, I mean, right, like right off hand, your magnet's facing the ground. So whenever you set this down and forget to grab it, it's going to grab all that metal on there. It's going to be another metal sliver in your finger. While this, it's tucked away and kind of hidden. Don't get a lot of metal debris with that. It should be in your case, so you shouldn't have to worry about metal, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Just food for thought. Um, what else do we got to talk about? I think that pretty much covers it until I like, actually get some field time with this. Uh, like I said, I will be sending this to Field Piece. They're gonna, they said they're going to send me a new one and just replace it and not even bother with it. Um, we'll see what ends up being there if I end up with two of these ones or I get another one like this that's new and have this one so I can further do videos on them and see how far away I can get with the remotes before you lose uh, reception and stuff like that. So um, if you guys want more videos on the comparison between these two, I think I'll hold on to this for another week before I ship it out. So hit me up, let me know. Um, I'll try and get the, the distance of the wand before it loses reception with a scale and let you guys know i don't have any other compressor jobs lined up right at this moment but you know how that is it can happen tomorrow for all i know so um i will have to you know see the difference in them when that time comes i'll just have to wait for that or when i go to recover some refrigerant or whatever do a compressor or something um like i said same bag just figured i'd make a little i didn't even know i was getting the new one uh, I just knew that I was going to be sending this in, in and I couldn't go without a scale because of my refrigeration work, right? I'm an HVAC tech. You got to have a scale. So before I could send this in, I ordered a new one, assuming it was going to be another one of these. I didn't even know they made a new version, but this is what showed up. And I was like, great, another YouTube video. So here you guys go. Enjoy. <laughs>